Hi, I'm Sharon Stinger, and I'm happy to spend a few minutes with you this morning or whenever you happen to be watching this video. When I heard that our pastoral staff was going to have the opportunity to share ways that we're creating space to experience God's presence, the first thing I thought about was gratitude. Now, maybe you haven't thought of gratitude as a spiritual practice, and I probably hadn't either until recently. But I've always known that gratitude was an important part of my life. I was taught as a young child to always be polite and say please and thank you. And then when we would sit down for a meal together, we would often begin with a memorized prayer. God is great. God is good. And we thank him for our food. But I've learned since then that the spiritual practice of gratitude is much more than that. It's not just an obligatory thank you. It's not uh, just a reciting a memorized prayer, but it's much deeper. It's much more intentional. It's much more heartfelt. It's much more genuine and it is expressed. There's a passage in scripture that's always intrigued me and it reminds me of the importance of expressing my gratitude as a spiritual practice. From Luke 17, 11 to 19, on the way to Jerusalem, he, Jesus, was passing along between Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered a village, he was met by 10 lepers who stood at a distance and lifted up their voices saying, Jesus, master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, go and show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. And he fell on his face at Jesus' feet giving him thanks. Now he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus answered, were not 10 cleansed? Where are the nine? Was no one found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? And he said to him, rise and go your way. Your faith has made you well. It was his expressed gratitude and coming back in faith to say thank you that made him well. I love the way Ann Voskamp, a speaker and author, puts it. We only enter into the full life if our faith gives thanks. Thanksgiving is the evidence of our acceptance of whatever he gives. Thanksgiving is inherent to a true salvation experience. Thanksgiving is necessary to live the well, whole, fullest life. It's inherent to a true salvation experience. It's necessary to live the well, whole, fullest life. So how do I express my gratitude? Well, I like to keep a gratitude journal. I might spend three to five minutes in the morning or sometimes a little bit longer. And I like to do it the last thing at night as well to just begin to itemize what I'm grateful for. It's big things. It's little things. It's things that I may have missed as I walk through my day. But taking time to write it down um, really helps me to, to remember and to see life as a gift. Sometimes I write out, write out my prayers of gratitude in my journal or otherwise, or sometimes I just speak my prayers to God. Another thing that I like to do is to express my gratitude to others by writing notes or cards or emails or texts. And sometimes, especially during these times of social isolation, we might um, think, well, I don't have opportunities to really talk to people or see people and to say thank you to them. But this is a perfect opportunity to really build other people up by expressing our gratitude to them in a written form. So what happens when I do express my gratitude? Well, I certainly find myself thinking more about what I have rather than what I'm missing. I find that I don't um, find myself as, as, as the guest of honor at my own pity party nearly as often. I see the good in other people as I think about them and express my gratitude to them. It just helps me as I'm able to experience God more fully to just see life as a gift. 
So I've decided that I'm going to take a gratitude challenge and I want to invite you to join me in this. Here's what I'm going to do starting today and for the next 30 days, I'm going to start a new gratitude journal. And over the next 30 days, I'm going to do my best to fill it up with all the things that I notice, all the things that I'm grateful for, the little things and the big things. And I would invite you to do the same. You may only take a few minutes once a day or a couple times a day or take an extended time to just write as many things as you can think of that you're grateful for. Another part of the challenge would be to begin intentionally sending one to three notes of appreciation to people in your life, in my life, through a card, a note, even calling them on the phone and just for the purpose of saying thank you. And I know that as I do this, and I know that if you join me in this challenge, we will all experience God more fully and we will be able to celebrate his goodness and we'll be receiving all that he has to offer. Are you up for the challenge? I'd love to hear about it. Feel free to just shoot me a, an email at Sharon S at lifecc.com. I'd love to hear how you're experiencing God in these days. And I'd especially love to know how the uh, spiritual practice of expressing your gratitude draws you closer to him.